Hey plant gang, really cool Cotoneaster behind me. This used to be a Cotonia, Cotoneaster lactis, now it's a Cotoneaster coriaceus. Uh, the name change is very recent, uh, but this is Parnes Cotoneaster, uh, evergreen shrub from China, really beautiful, loaded with fruit at the end of February, at the beginning of March. A beautiful plant that can be incorporated into the shrub border. So again, we've got Cotoneaster coriaceus here, the Parnes Cotoneaster. This is an evergreen shrub from China. It's very kind of erect and loose uh, in habit, spreading in habit. Maturity, it gets about six to 10 foot tall and wide, so just as wide as it is tall. It will grow in any well-drained soil, particularly in full sun, and full sun is where you'll see the best bloom and the best resulting fruit set. Spring clusters of small white flowers appear uh, and then later become clusters of bright red berries, which you're seeing now uh, in the video. This plant has actually escaped cultivation and become pretty weedy in California. And so depending on what part of the world you're in, you maybe want to be a little bit careful uh, planting this plant. I think it's quite striking for late winter interest, quite beautiful. Uh, the flowers can be nice, uh, but the resulting fruit set is probably the highlight of this plant. Uh, the leaves have a little bit of a purplish cast to them. They're a little bit fuzzy. Uh, they're alternate simple leaves uh, and just quite beautiful uh, because they do remain evergreen in most uh, regions. The fall color uh, will again stay this uh, green, but turn to a little bit of a cast of burgundy. Uh, so a great plant uh, for the landscape and one that you should definitely at least know if not incorporate into your landscape. Here's a landscape tip. One of the best Cotoneasters for the southeastern United States known for heavy fruiting.